In this tutorial, we're going to learn specifically on addition and subtraction of uncertainties. If you want to learn more about multiplication and division, feel free to take a look at the other tutorial. Um, if you still do not understand what uncertainty means, um, be sure to take a look at the link above for the tutorial on what is uncertainty. So, say we're measuring two volumes of water, um, two different volumes. Here we have one from a graduated cylinder. Here we have another of another one. And we're going to put these two together. Now, when we look at these two, um, based on good scientific methodology, we know that we have to look at the meniscus of the liquid. Meniscus means the lowest point of that concave, that curved shape. So wherever that lowest point, that minimum point is at, that's where we should be collecting our data from. At the first graduated cylinder, we could probably assume that the measurement is around 23.8. So the meniscus is right below 24. Um, because this measurement that we just made of 23.8 has a lowest value reported at the tenths digit. So this means that our uncertainty also needs to be in the tenths. I'm pretty certain about where I'm seeing this at this point. So my uncertainty isn't going to be too big. So I decided that my uncertainty is going to just be plus or minus 0 0.1 milliliters. Now, let's move over to this side of the graduated cylinder. This graduated cylinder, I see the measurement is probably around 38.0. So the bottom of this meniscus, I feel, of this um, liquid lies right around 23.0. This one, though, um, because if you take a look at the two differences, this one is measured in 2 milliliters. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. These are the little indices that are given to us. Whereas on the left, for this graduated cylinder, we see that this one is given in ones, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we know that compared to the first graduated cylinder, the second graduated cylinder is going to be a little bit more inaccurate because this one doesn't have as accurate of smaller indices values. So here, my uncertainty, instead of 0 0.1, I decided that I probably have an uncertainty of around 0 0.2 milliliters. In this case, if I want to pour the first one into the second graduated cylinder, um, I have to add up my two volumes. So in this case, what do I do with my uncertainty? So when you are adding your two values together, you also add the uncertainties, okay? So how we would go about doing this is we would add the values together. So we would add 23.8 milliliters with 38.0 milliliters. Um, and we would write in a separate parentheses after our plus or minus uncertainty sign for the uncertainty that we add. So in this case, we will add 0 0.1 milliliters with 0 0.2 milliliters. Adding this up, totaling it, gives us a volume of 61.8. So the total volume of our water that we measure will be 61.8 milliliters, and our uncertainty would be 0 0.3 milliliters. And we represent, again, uncertainty with a plus or minus value. 